You can make a okay system sound great and a great system sound incredible. Hey, it's Big Jeff, and we're doing the follow-up video for the B2 Audio 610 DSP. Hey, during this video, you see a silver uh, DSP, but we also have black now. So we're just throwing this in the middle of the video that you can pick silver or black. Might be out of silver because they sell so fast, but we just got a fresh thing in black, and it is June 2025. So you can get a black or silver like you see in the video. Now back to the video. And let me get right first with my... Big Jeff Audio Chain Gang. All right, love to have fun, man. Cardio is supposed to be fun. All right, so this right here has been a big hit. Uh, I don't even know the number we've sold so far. We just got another batch of 300 in, so plenty in stock. Also, as of today, March 29th, Saturday, the I'm so proud, I'm so happy. Working with B2 Audio, B2 Audio USA, and Big Jeff Audio, we now have the iOS app on the iOS store. Check it out. We're gonna do, actually showing you how to install it and connect it in this video, so stay tuned. As of today, the Android app is in review. Quick update, both Android and iOS apps are now available. Go download the one you need today. And I think within a few days, it will be up, but you can still go to either B2 Audio USA or the Big Jeff Audio.com and directly download the APK. But it will be an Android store. It's huge. B2 Audio has never ever been in the processing game or crossover game, and they are now, and this is the first step. And I'll tell you what, we're gonna answer some questions from the videos. Okay, so hopefully we put it up here and you can see it. Uh, I think it's um, T O L. What is it, Ben? T O L D U S O again. Okay, so. Told you so again. All right. Uh, couldn't read it, but told you so again. Yeah, that makes sense. That's cool. Update. Got the DSP. Streaming music is a good device. Connects automatically when cars powered up. Had an issue connecting my Android to the DSP side after hooking it up. My iPad did connect. Finally, after the initial pairing to the DSP, I have some issues. Had someone reach out on Facebook with issues connecting his Apple phone. Well, that's gonna be all fixed now because guess what? We have our app. Um, but I'm glad you brought up about the streaming, which I didn't get into, but after looking into, yes, and we're gonna show you, you can stream from your phone through here on any channel, which means kind of weird, but if you wanted music playing out, say the inside or whatever, and you wanted to have something playing out of the other channels, you can do that. So we're gonna go over that. Okay, let's go to the next comment. Okay, large stat. Okay, let's put it up on the screen. I want one, but can't afford how the soft, I can't get the software on my phone. I wanna check out the software before I purchase it. Well, you're more than welcome to. The apps are free. And again, you've already heard, we have the iOS up and working perfect on all Apple phones. Uh, I don't see the setting to download APK. Please contact us at Big Jeff Audio, 737 Big Jeff. You can call or text or email in and our CSR will guide you through, but it's right on the website. Let's go to another one. Oh, thank you, Jason. I want to give a big shout out. Jason WW2000. I have, and get your comments. My team sends them over. I will say some about this. You are very informative, and a lot of your stuff has even corrected me, and I appreciate that. Milliseconds, I just couldn't think of it at the time. Everybody, if you watch the original videos, you can do your time delay inches, feet, mm, which is milliseconds. But he did bring that up, uh, which is awesome. And big shout out to Jason there because thank you for support watching the videos and thank you for the corrective criticism. Okay, Christopher8997 says, can you use the DSP with a factory head unit with a factory amplifier? Here's the problem, Chris. Technically, yes, you could, but it's kind of a two part there. Your outputs are RCA, low voltage. Your amplifier normally gets low voltage coming in from the factory radio. So if it can be done, you would then need to 
basically do high to low adapters backwards or you could cut it and use RCAs directly in. So to answer that question, the problem is when you disconnect from between the radio, your head unit to the amplifier, no longer would you be using your factory radio. Hey, during this video, you see a silver uh, DSP, but we also have black now. So we're just throwing this in the middle of the video that you could pick silver or black. Might be out of silver because they sell so fast, but we just got a fresh thing in black and it is June 2025. So you can get a black or silver like you see in the video. Now back to the video. Here's what I say you do. You're going to have to upgrade your factory speakers and amplifier. And then you would run that through. You would use your head unit as the source like it is and run it through here. Uh, but if you want to re-comment with your what type of vehicle and that um, I'm guessing you can't change out your head unit. That's what I'm guessing. Uh, so that makes things difficult unless you were then changing out your mids and highs and or the sub and do an aftermarket there because you could use the head unit as a source into this and then out. So you can technically. Okay, so I do try to read your comments and everything else. I wanna go over a couple things we didn't talk about. Found out THD is 0.01%. Point not point, not 1%, 0.01%, and this 101 dB at that. This is also 5.3 Bluetooth, which is why it sounds so good and 32 bit. So that was some questions. I will do a follow up third video. Um, once we announce the Android is completely downloadable from the store and not directly from our website and any other comments or questions, love to bring them up. So yes, when you leave comments that we see them, other people see them. Thank you so much for the support. So now we're going to get into the streaming portion and we're going to show it to you and also how to download it and install it with your iPhone. Okay. Really cool. Same way it will be with Android. So we're going to start now and download this and then we're going to hook it up. So movie magic. I'll be right back. Big Jeff audio, hit that like button, share this out and leave a comment, leave two or three comments. I love it. Thank you so much for the support. Be right back. Okay, so if you want to download the app, you will go to your iOS or Android store and you will search for AZ610 and it automatically starts coming up, DSP. And there is the B2 Audio logo and I will download the app very easily. Quick update, both Android and iOS apps are now available. Go download the one you need today. Once that's done, you will open the app. And to the right, far right, there is a connection tab that is a circle with two, looks like, chains. It will then ask you to allow to search for Bluetooth and then in your Bluetooth list will pop up. So once you click that, you will see it will search for it and you'll be looking for the BLE. And the password is six zeros. You can change that at a later date. And then it is connecting. And you are in. Very simple. Now, once you're connected there, you can then stream either Spotify or YouTube or whatever directly to the DSP. The first one is only for the app. That's the BLE. And that will be the same thing for Android or iOS. Again, if you want to stream directly to it, you will need to go into your Bluetooth settings and look for the 733. Now, hopefully you understand your, this is transmitting two Bluetooth signals. One is the BLE, which is directly for the app only. The other one has the 733, which will treat it like a normal device when you connect to it. If you have any problems, and we did going back and forth between phones, it's not made to work with two different phones at the same time. There is a reset switch right here. 
If you hold that down, you will reset the unit. And then same thing, make sure you power cycle your phone. We only had an issue because we were going back and forth between two phones. The app looks the same on both, okay? And then once you're in the app, which if you look at our settings, there is a setting all the way to the left, which Ben can show you on the back here. It says Bluetooth, yes? And you can adjust there. Your main game will adjust whatever's coming out. So pretty simple. If you want to stream music from your phone, you will connect through the Bluetooth settings on your phone to the 733. The app is the BLE. Sounds confusing, but really not. Um, I don't know how many people actually get this to just connect music from their phone without doing it through their head unit, but you can do that. Okay, so made it pretty simple. The iOS is available at this moment and the Android is downloadable from our store, bigjeffaudio.com or b2audiousa.com. But the moment we have the approval on the Play Store, we will post that up. Okay, if you have any more comments, questions, please put them up. We're actually gonna start doing this where we answer or respond to comments weekly, and I think it'll be pretty fun. Okay, so here's the 610 DSP made for Bluetooth with Android and or the iOS App Store. And the 610 is six channels in, 10 channels out with Bluetooth. Really cool item. I hope you enjoy it. We have plenty of them available. Hey, during this video, you see a silver uh, DSP, but we also have black now. So we're just throwing this in the middle of the video that you could pick silver or black. Might be out of silver because they sell so fast, but we just got a fresh thing in black and it is June, 2025. So you can get a black or silver like you see in the video. Now back to the video. You can make a okay system sound great and a great system sound incredible. I'm Big Jeff from BigJeffAudio.com, representing B2 Audio and B2 Audio USA with another awesome product. Get yourself one today.